Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and will be contested at a catch weight of 62.5 kilograms. Introducing first from the blue corner, please make him feel welcome. He is Dallas Dennis. And here comes Dallas Dennis, 25 year old, originating originally from Darwin. He now fights out of the combat lab on the sunny coast with an amateur record of two and two. He is a tradesman. Yeah. Staying on the theme of nicknames. This is probably one of my favorite ones, Dalasanya. Dalasanya. If you've ever seen him move around, there's no, no doubt where he uh, takes his inspiration from. Another, another athlete with good reach, good range, and knows how to use it. He's, he's pretty intelligent when it comes to shot selection as well. So this is gonna be a really cool, uh, cool display of, of striking in mixed martial arts. Incredible. Only a two-week turnaround from Dallas's last fight. He took this fight on an impressive one week's notice. That's seven days after getting uh, getting the, the nod just two weeks ago. Yeah, and again, this is one of those ones where he seems to be one of those guys that stays in the gym. He stays active, stays training. So sometimes taking those short notice fights, it's kind of like, you don't have to deal with the anxiety of the whole camp. You get to just train for a, a, a week, you know, sharpen up, get in there and have some fun. And you might not be carrying injuries or... We just don't know, especially if you, it's a short turnaround. Like, if he's feeling good, you know, it, it might be working in his favor. Absolutely. And Dalasanya has told us that all the fights that he goes into, he's always trying to make it entertaining. It's important to him that he's fun to watch. He's going to come out hard and fast. And his opponent from the red corner, please make some noise for Harrison 2. Harrison 2 making his way to the cage. 19 years old, originally from Brisbane. He fights out of Brisbane at the Fight Center under Ben Johnston and Nakia Melody. And one of the unsung heroes over at the Fight Center, Uncle Dez is also in the corner, making his way to Harrison 2's corner. Harrison's got a four and one amateur MMA record and he's a blue belt. But once again, the theme for amateur MMA is just because told us. Not to expect any, not, not to ex expect the unexpected is what I'm trying to get out of my mouth right now. Um, Harrison Chu has a lot of BJJ competitive bouts under his belt. So it'll be interesting to see how this matches up against, for the hundredth time that was said it, a classic striker versus BJJ matchup. I anticipate will be shown once again just how diverse the talents of these rising MMA stars are on the Australian scene. Yeah, Dallas, Dallas Anya's no slouch on the ground either. Also sporting a B, BJJ blue belt himself. Dallas Anya's going to be enjoying a bit of a... bit of a... Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three rounds at a catch weight of 62.5 kilograms. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker. Holding an amateur record of two wins and two defeats. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 62.5 kilograms. Fighting out of combat lab, martial arts on the Sunshine Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Dallas Sanya! Dallas! Dennis! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. 
A mixed martial artist holding an amateur record of four wins with one defeat. He stands five feet ten inches tall with an official weight of 63 kilograms even. Fighting out of the fight center in Logan City, Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Harrison Two. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Thomas Churchill. This catchweight bout is brought to you by Raw Barbershop Narang, your go-to spot for top quality grooming, and we're away. Ooh, immediately into the low attacks from Dalasanya. Checked nicely by Harrison Chu there. Ooh, and returning one of his own off a nice jab. I'm liking Dalasanya's posture at the moment. There's a massive takedown from two. Obviously sticking to the game plan. He's hunting that neck already, trying to get that trying to get that hook on the far side. He's got the right hook in. Thought about jumping on the back and trying to sneak that left hook in as well, but he settled to stay heavy on that right leg of Dalasanya. It's probably a good idea actually to put some weight on Dalasanya's legs. Just to get that one out early. Yeah. And it's a lot of weight to be carrying around you uh, on your back. Despite having the advantage of it being early on in the fight, it adds up. This is some good grappling here from two. It's just being heavy and just utilizing that wrestling and just making Dalasanya just earn everything. You just gotta, <laughs> every grip that you gotta fight, it's just such a grind. Two trying to sneak in some knees there over the top. Dalasanya returning with some short inside Ooh. strikes. Two with a good frame there. Making the decision to go back to center stage. We'll see Ooh. if Dallas Dennis can get this back in his favor. Ooh, two oh. showing some really good composure. That's a really good read off the switch as um, Dennis tried to change his position. Dallas, Dallas Sanya is showing some, some good feints. He's trying to get two to bite to try and land those more significant shots. And despite, at, go ahead, my friend. Well, I'm just saying, at the moment, I think they're just sort of stuck in this battle where they're just trying to figure each other out at the moment. We had a, a dominant position from oh, two. That's a beautiful... Massive push kick. mark kick, yeah. wow. But they are really well and truly trying to figure each other out at the moment. Both fighters having their turns of coming out on top of the exchanges. The only difference being, oof, two swinging for the fences there. Two's looking super focused in the early stages oh. of this matchup. Really biding his time and trying to select sharp, accurate shots and having some good success here. Mm. Oh, those teeps are nasty. Two's looking confident. I like the way he's, he's settled and is not, he's not buying into Dalasanya's feints. He's keeping it nice and Nice and uh, solid on his fundamentals, utilizing that long guard. Wow. Utilizing those high percentage strikes. Super impressive performance from Harrison Chu, who came out and really took it mm. to Denis in this first round. So that's where we see Harrison just ducking under that punch and really closing those, those hands together. And he was able to put Dalasanya on his back. But as you can see, Dalasanya is using a, doing a great job of utilizing that kicking range and mixing it up straight up the middle with those, those front kicks and then coming around the top where he, uh, two is just barely blocked. Two looking really confident at range. Like really, really calm, collected, not making any unnecessary like defenses. Yeah, he's making, he's got some really good reactions actually from the spinning techniques. Absolutely. I've obviously trained that in the gym. Like he's yeah, sort of going into that cross face guard. It's very interesting. He's got that shoulder up nice and high. He's ducked his chin under the shoulder and he's even brought that other hand over for extra protection. Absolutely. Let's see if we can keep up those good decisions in round number two. Once again, the same composure. Two coming out nice and solid. I've noticed that when he does go to that high shoulder guard, 
he is looking to step back and create some distance just to negate that that reach advantage any reach advantage that Dalasanya might have but it seems to not be such a big factor that I thought it'd be mm, big calf kick there Ooh. followed up by the, the tape from the rear leg Ooh. Harrison Chu really looking to rely on his kicks for this one. Nice. Enters a takedown off of the level change. Beautiful title on that one. Oh, strikes on the way up. Ooh. Relentless attack from Harrison Chu. Now we see the Muay Thai techniques coming out. Classic frame. He's hunting that guillotine. That's good defense from Dalasanya as he apologizes for possibly a low blow. Ooh, that calf kick looked to do Ooh. a little bit of damage. As Dalasanya switches stances, overextending there just a little bit to enter the grappling exchange. Oh. Harrison's too straight back on that calf kick. I suspect that's going to add up really quickly. As it stands, it seems as though Chu has the answers. He's not biting on Dalasanya's feints. As you can see, Dalasanya's just using that jab to pawn, and try and get a read on his distance, but Chu is just not reacting. He knows what he wants to do. He knows what position he needs to be. He's just waiting for those shots and he's changing levels, coming down and he's looking for those grappling exchanges. Anything that's not that, he's not biting on. Ooh, now he's trying to close he's the distance. Ooh, oh, that's a beautiful Clean entry. There. So once again, Dallas Chu utilizing his grappling to just make this a grueling fight anytime you're up against the cage, especially if you've got your back against it. It's just so much work to try and improve your position. You've got to earn every inch. Oh, oh. clean shots, lands. Oh. Straight to the button oh. as well. Super oh. dynamic attack from Harrison Chu. Oh, Chu oh. digging to the body. He's dropped oh, him with that body shot. And he's on top of him. Oh, Harrison oh. Chu. Oh, that's waved up. Finished it in the second. Harrison Chu. That body shot oh, sealed the deal. That body shot did seal the deal. You are exactly right. What an impressive. Want to see it here again on the replay. That takedown attempt. Crushing pressure from Harrison Chu from start to finish yeah. there. Oh, look at his really moves. in his element. Once again, Harrison Chu, every range that he was in, he probably wasn't getting the better of those long kicking ranges, but. He knew that, so he just refused to be there. And he, he made the right adjustments to slowly creep into the punching ranges where he got his work done. He just didn't want to hang out in that kicking range where Dallasano has found so much success in the past. Great timing on getting under those punches and great reactions with the spinning stuff as well, with the shoulder up high once again, answering the phone on the same side and even bringing that other hand in to, to create a bit of and some more sort of reinforcement. Super, super um, effective hand defense from Harrison Chu. Um, we know that Dallas Anya is a, a great striker yeah. and he was throwing some super dynamic attacks and Harrison Chu just seemed to be totally focused and in his element, not biting on feints, mm. just keeping that pressure off. And every time that um, Dallas Anya tried to circle mm. off, I think we'll see here the body shot that started the finishing sequence. There it is. Yeah. That liver shot with the lead hand. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Thomas Churchill has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 26 seconds of round number 2. Declaring your winner by TKO in the red corner, Harrison 2. Come on in, my brother. I'll tell you what, that was a fantastic performance. Five and one, that left rip to the rip, that left rip to the liver. Try saying that five times. Unbelievable, sir. That one's got to make you feel good. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Um, shout out to Dallas. Had a pull out a week ago. Not a single Bantam weight wanted it. Took a flyweight to step up, so pretty disappointed in my division, but thanks to Dallas for stepping up.
Well, I mean, if you're disappointed in the division, no doubt they'd be incredibly hesitant to take a fight with you off short notice, especially after that performance. Talk about your team from Logan City, Uncle Desna, Kia Melody, Ben Johnston. What a team. What a performance here this evening. How much credit do you give them for how well you performed tonight? Uh, all to them. I didn't sign up till TFC to about four months ago, but even then last year I was sparring every Saturday with them. They welcomed me into their team. I've been a bit nutcase to them, but... I pulled through, they pulled through, they've coached me, put time in, and best team in, best team in Queensland for all I know. But Ben Johnson, Nakia, Des, thank you boys for the help. Couldn't agree with you more, sir, before we let you go and party. Anyone else you'd like to thank here this evening? Um, can I take the mic? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hold it, you can, you can hold it with me. Nah, just wanna say thanks to my, my best friend, Alex. Um, he's been there for me for a lot, main training partner. He's coming up soon. Thanks to my family. I got a second cousin, Lawson, he's in here. He's got little earmuffs on. I wanted to bring him in the cage, but probably not allowed to. But yeah, we're gonna make it Project John Jones too, so he's raising. But yeah, that's it to everyone, thank you. Congratulations, sir, look forward to seeing you back in action sooner than later. Harrison 2, ladies and gentlemen.